Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I am Drew Martin, joined by Andrew McGinnis and Andy Lang of wagertalk.com. We're talking NFL Sunday action here, Philadelphia Eagles, Las Vegas Raiders. This one in Sin City here, McGinnis. We are seeing the Raiders. They opened up two and a half. We're actually seeing threes and even some three and a halves here as it uh, ticks up over that key number of minus three. That's the Raiders at home, 48 and a half being the total fascinating handicap here mcginnis with the raiders in particular you know everything going on off the field and then plus on the field they didn't look good and then they turned it around this past week how's your overall handicap looking here with the eagles and raiders mcginnis yeah well, first of all i'm a huge schedule person you know I, I mean everybody should be i guess but look at the schedule here for this eagles team the the elephant in the room is they've played some tough teams you know as much as i've come on here this year with both you and Andy and had some fun at the expense of the Philadelphia Eagles. We can sit here and say that, you know, they played Tampa, Carolina, KC, Dallas, some some heavy offenses. And, then, and now they're playing a team in uh, the Raiders that don't rank too high, you know. And uh, one thing about them is I found an interesting number here which was that uh, they're known and they're top in the league, uh, this Raiders team, for deep passes. Uh, they're really high rated in the league as far as, you know, plays over 20 yards. The good news is this Philly team isn't blitzing too often. They're actually staying back. They're protecting uh, from these huge plays. So I feel like they'll do a great job of limiting them. Also, look at the injuries from the Raiders and just everything going on from their team. It's time for me to give a little bit of credit to the Eagles. And I can't believe I'm doing that, but I am. And I actually have liked some stuff that I've seen from the Eagles. It's very fun for all of us to kind of poke fun at some things that they do. But when it comes down to it, they have played some tough competition I actually expect them to give the Raiders lots of trouble and potentially win this one outright here. So I'm going to grab the Eagles, and I think it's a great spot for them. I like it. Good start here from McGinnis. Andy, what are you liking here, Eagles and Raiders, on Sunday? Keep your head on a swivel if you are in the stands for these two fan bases. Uh, my favorite play is over and a half, uh, two, over two and a half fight videos from the stands that go viral, over one million views each. <laughs> no way we don't get some gems in the stands with these two fans. My guess is one of them comes from the parking lot before the game. Uh, that's my play. No, seriously. Uh, Andrew touched on a, a really good subject. Uh, their loss of the Eagles losses, really good teams, Bucks, Chiefs, Cowboys, 49ers. Uh, they're limited on offense. They're not amazing on defense. This Raider team has so many questions for me after the Gruden issue. They come out and they play great against Denver, but how good is Denver? Was Is this going to be a letdown week after the, the Gruden firing? Uh, the new coach riding high? Do we have a letdown spot? A lot of questions for me uh, for the spread and the total, but here's two things to consider for this. Uh, in every game this season, the Eagles have scored more points in the second half than they have in the first half, and they're one in five against the spread in the first half. So take a look at Raiders first half minus two and a half. Less than a field goal would be a good play for me. And the U.S. markets have a prop up. The Eagles to score over under 12 and a half points in the second half if they're down they love garbage time. Jalen Hurts loves that. Uh, that would be a good play to get two touchdowns in the second half. And also in four of in all four wins for the Raiders, Derek Carr has over 340 yards passing and two touchdowns in each one of those wins. So I would look for his overs if you think the Raiders are going to win the game. So look for Derek Carr and look for the Eagles to have a strong second half. That's what I'd be looking for. All right, those are the on-the-field analysis. Plus, you got some uh, off-the-field there for Las Vegas. Yeah, you're right, Andy. This is going to be a, a wild one in the stands, most likely there <laughs> in Las Vegas. But uh, for McGinnis and uh, Andy Lang, I am Drew Martin. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Enjoy the game, Eagles and Raiders. Also, make sure to check out wagertalk.com, the live odds page. You see it up there at the top right in the graphic. Uh, free live odds. We talked about it going from 2.5 to minus three and a half at some sports books right now you can keep up to date with the most live up-to-date odds in the business check it out wagertalk.com